NDUSU has been offering classes online and in person since the beginning of the fall semester. Otherwise known as high flex teaching, it is a hybrid approach to ensure the classrooms are open with limited seating of 50% capacity, while students can also participate in class lectures online. To accommodate for the extra space, large ballrooms like the Great Plains Room here in Memorial Union have been converted into makeshift classrooms. While it is not ideal for either the professors or the students, it is the safest approach of teaching given the current pandemic. We spoke with a professor who suffers from a pre-existing condition and a student who was diagnosed with COVID at the beginning of the semester. Uh, the advantage has been that uh, someone like me who does have an underlying condition, I'm an asthmatic, can work from home and still use students in the classroom or interact with students in the classroom, at least once the equipment is working. I think it's been really great. I personally had COVID at the beginning of the year, so I did a self-isolation for 10 days. So for me, I thought online learning was fantastic because I was able to participate in classes while they were going on real time. Because I know if it would have just been recorded and I watched it later, I probably would have procrastinated a lot more. So personally, I thought it was really well. Of course, it was at the beginning of the year. There was a lot of technology glitches and just a learning curve for everyone. But I think as we move on and progress throughout the semester, it's been a lot better. There are definitely drawbacks to this as the students we interviewed expressed how they prefer the class experience better. I think there's an advantage in the face-to-face -face experience and it's much easier to talk to your teacher and understand what they're saying and I think the overall experience in person is just much better and easier to learn. You know, personally, I learn better in a classroom, so I like having the option. I think it's different for every class and defi definitely for every major. I know it's a lot more work for all of our professors to do, like basically a dual curriculum. Um, but personally, I would rather have it where we're all face-to-face, -face, but in the circumstances of it, I think it's a really good alternative. It also adds to the workload of the professors. Well, of course, it's it's adding to the workload in part because we had to spend considerable time finding people to staff the classrooms. And then we had one person who had, at least for one of my classes, that had to uh, quarantine for two weeks. So we had to find somebody else. And then we had to train those people and uh, there was also the problem that the equipment hadn't all arrived and so ITS didn't have time to install all the equipment. There's, I just got word this morning actually that one of the classrooms that I use is finally set up for the cameras and the microphones for students to use in that classroom. So we're gonna have to go back and retrain the person in that classroom because I'm uh, trying to do it remotely. Uh, if I were doing it in the classroom, then it, it would be a little bit less work in that regard. The other problem is that you've got two distinct audiences, one in the classroom, one outside of the classroom. And so you kind of have to divide your attention and keep track of both of those. and that required some practice. According to Dr. Magel, the high flex teaching could continue well into spring or even next summer.